beloved. Indeed, we bless and we honor God for being good, wonderful, kind, excellent, and mighty. For this is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Just want to take a moment to pause in the busyness of uh, this day as we encroach further upon this evening. And we take this unique opportunity to remember what our Lord and what our Savior, Jesus Christ, did for us. For on this day, we commemorate this day, we remember this day, we celebrate how he suffered, he bled, and how he died. It takes my mind back to that song that says, Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified me. Freed me forever. And one day is coming back. Glorious day. And so I just want to take just a few moments briefly just to share a communion meal with you. Again, nothing grand or big in this moment. And indeed, we thank God for all the celebrations we have. We have them, we need them, we need more of them. But right now, no choir, no music, no eloquent preached word, just us remembering Calvary. Hmm. That old song that says, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? Sometimes it causes me tremble. And so as we prepare to partake in communion, just remember those nails for you in his hands and in his feet. Remember the stripes on his back for you, for every sickness and malady, not just physically or medically, but also spiritually, the sickness of our soul. And because of those stripes, we are healed. See the crown of thorns on his head. And remember how the blood came streaming down his brow. We honor, we bless, and we celebrate God for Calvary. First Corinthians, praise be to God, as we honor and celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at verse 23. It reads, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the, after the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. But if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Beloved, I just want to take a very brief moment a prayer as we reflect on those words. Simple prayer of repentance. But we humbly ask God in the name of Jesus, because of Calvary, whew, to forgive us of our sins. So that as we eat this bread and drink of this cup, mm. we're mindful of our flaws, our sins. When we confess them before him, we receive his forgiveness and we eat and drink worthily bow your head and just simply repeat these words with me. Father, here I am again on this blessed Good Friday remembering the sacrifice of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me of my sins. Wrong words, wrong thoughts, 
wrong actions, wrong deeds. Now grace me to partake of this communion with clean hands and a pure heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, beloved, if you have uh, your bread there or your wafer or your juice or, amen, whatever element you're going to use there, praise be to God prayerfully. It's, it's a wafer and some juice. I'm going to pray over it. To God be the glory. Ask God's blessing upon it, and then we'll eat and drink together. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for these elements, that you would sanctify them, purify them in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, you would transform them from that which is natural to that which is spiritual in the name of Jesus and as we eat and as we drink let us remember let us reflect and let us be healed restored encouraged and inspired because of this communion this evening grace us to encounter you in Jesus name Make ready to eat. Bless God. Remember his goodness. Remember his greatness. Remember his grace and his mercy extended to us for this very moment. And as we are before his blessed table, know you are redeemed, you are restored, and you are revived. Because God saw fit for there to be a good Friday. The body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Eat it in remembrance of him. Thank you, Lord. His precious blood shed for the remission of our sins. Drink all of it in remembrance of him. Bless his name. We thank God. We bless God. And we honor God for a good Friday. So God give us the grace to live and to see Sunday. Hallelujah. We come in here celebrating, honoring him, glorifying him for his resurrection. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, I thank God for you. We have a great evening. If be the Lord's will, see us on tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. for prayer on Zoom. And again, with the grace of God, we'll see you on Resurrection Sunday morning. God bless. Love you, family. Thank you.